I'm really pleased to speak to you today um, and I wanted to begin by recognising we've had a very challenging winter so far. But I'm really pleased by the significant hard work of all the health and care teams across Sussex who've worked incredibly hard over the last month to get our services into a much stronger and stable position. I also recognise that at some parts of the last month, we haven't been able to give the people the right care in the right place. But I'm really confident with the plans we've pulled together, we can start to drive that forward. I'm really also keen that we start to talk about how we're going to take our system forward. And we're publishing our plans in the coming weeks about how we propose to do that. So in the operational here and now, we're focusing on four key areas that we've heard from you, you want us to focus on. The first is primary care, and we're working really hard with our primary care organisations, particularly our general practices and our dentists, to really help them to offer as many appointments that they can to you so you can get good access to health and care quickly. We're also working incredibly hard with our local government partners in social care to ensure we can get people discharged as home as quickly as possible. And we're really pleased to be able to announce we're part of a national programme that will look at how we do that in a really, really innovative and different way. What I hear often, though, are the stories where people feel that the urgent and emergency care pathway, they've been waiting too long. We're working really closely with our ambulance services and with our hospital services to ensure we can get people seen as quickly as possible when they appropriately need emergency department services. And lastly, I know there are a number of people waiting far too long on a waiting list for clinical care. Myself and my team, working with the wider NHS organisations, are working very hard to try and bring that down. And we aim to, by the end of the next financial year, so by the 31st of March 2024, that we'll have nobody waiting in Sussex over 65 weeks for any of their care. We aim for that to improve the year after and we'll keep improving every year after that. Now all that's really important and we want to focus on that, but also we want to focus on the future. And there are three main areas that we're looking at about how we start to transform our health and care services in the coming years. The first being we want to work really closely with all of those who deliver services in the community. We want to integrate those services and create community teams that can really respond to particular tailored need in different parts of our area. We want to create a common offer for people in each of those communities, but we want to also recognise the differences in different parts of Sussex, so therefore those solutions can be tailored to the needs of the population. The second thing we want to look at really clearly is how we approach data and digital technologies to really transform our system. We do believe there's significant potential across Sussex to do that really well, and I'm really confident by the plans you've seen going forward. And lastly, none of this can be done without supporting and developing the people that deliver our care services. And we're really, really pleased to see the work that's coming together to create one Sussex workforce to really respond to that. But linked to that, we want to also be innovative in how we approach that. So we're looking at different clinical roles, we're looking at different non-clinical roles for how we respond to different service needs. And also we want to make sure that we can describe our system from a clinical perspective. So I'm really looking forward to working with our clinical leaders to help them drive through the changes across our system. I recognise you've got lots to do. We're all committed to that aim um, and thank you for listening. Take care.